parties in the petition by the Hope Democratic Party challenging the election of President Muhammad Buhari awaiting the sitting of the tribunal. The tribunal had concluded the pretrial hearing of the petition on July 18, 2019. In opening its case, the counsel to the HDP, Mr. Eze Nanyelugo, called his only witness, Mr. Yusuf Ibrahim, who insisted that there was a referendum held on February 16, 2019, from which its presidential candidate, Mr. Ambrose Owaru, won and emerged as Nigeria's president. Mr. Ibrahim, who appeared before the five-man panel of the tribunal, led by Justice Mohamed Garba, said the referendum was held by the Citizens Observers Referendum Election Right Protection of Nigeria, with over 50 million Nigerians voting in favor of its presidential candidate, Mr. Ambrose Owaru. On the cross-examination, the witness agreed with all three respondents in the case, which include the Independent National Electoral Commission, President Muhammad Buhari, and the All Progressive Congress, that indeed there was an election on the 23rd of February 2019. The party also tendered several documents which were admitted by the tribunal as exhibits. They include some copies of newspapers, a document titled Citizens Observers Referendum Election Rights Protection of Nigeria, and the Independent National Electoral Commission's final list of presidential candidates. A portion to Section 2 of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended is actually made provisions for a referendum to be conducted at the instance of the citizens. And it was portion to that that the, the purported that the, the referendum was conducted, and that is why we're in court. They are not contesting that they won the February 23rd presidential election. So what are we calling witnesses for? Was there a referendum? Did you do referendum? The tribunal subsequently fixed August 5th, 2019 for the adoption of final addresses by parties in the petition. Amaka Okafu, Channel Television News.